morning. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Vario 1918 Trench Watch. Vario are going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign for this watch on the 11th of November at 11am Singapore time. So firstly let's look at the travel case that the Vario 1918 Trench Watch comes in and then I'll talk you through the other colour options and strap options for the piece. Now Vario haven't actually decided upon which watch box they're going to use in the final production model but in the meantime they sent me this sample pre-production model in their Vario travel case so I thought I would show it to you because it's very well executed and very aesthetically pleasing. Nicely upholstered with a felt fabric and as you can see the interior is fully lined with foam protective pieces. It also has a webbed expanding elasticated pocket and I think that it's a very good quality travel case. If you'd like to purchase one of these Vario travel cases they're available from their website Vario.sg. So Vario are based in Singapore and they specialise in producing travel cases, watch straps and also watches. Now with regards to the watch itself this is their 1918 trench watch. And the purpose of this trench watch is to make a modern day reissue or replica of vintage First World War trench watches and I think it does that very well. 37mm case diameter, it has a 45mm lug to lug measurement and a thickness of 12mm. So the stainless steel case which is made from 316L grade stainless steel is 10mm thick and it has a 2mm thick double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating on the underside. So 12mm overall thickness including that 2mm double dome sapphire crystal. Solid stainless steel wire lugs to the case. The case has a nice curved profile to it. As you can see the flanks are brushed into a satin finish and the bezel is polished to a flawless mirror finish. Nice contrast between the domed shape of the sapphire crystal, the curved profile to the mirror polished bezel and also the curved profile to the flanks of the case. It's just a very good looking aesthetically pleasing piece from every angle. The crown is solid stainless steel, coin edge finish, signed with a V for the Vario brand logo and I understand that um, on this pre-production model the crown is slightly smaller than the final production model is going to be. They're going to enlarge the coin edge finish crown to make it more functional, to make it more easier to grip when unscrewing the crown. So the screw down crown provides an effective hermetic seal to 100 meters of water resistance as does the screw down solid stainless steel case back. One feature I really like about this watch is the use of an enamel dial, which is period correct. In 1918, during the First World War, it was a popular dial material. Enamel dials were very popular and they were loomed with radium loom. Now there are going to be several options for loom. This uses C3 Superluminova. As you can see, it has a white tone to it and it glows green in the dark. But if that's not to your personal taste, they will also offer an orange tone of patina effect loom and that will replicate radium loom, which was the type of loom used during the First World War. I really like the use of enamel because it gives the dial a very deep black glossy finish and it's far more interesting than the modern day matte black paint which is usually used. And I think that manufacturers should go back to using enamel dials because they're just very aesthetically pleasing and it's also a very durable dial material. It's a credible alternative to ceramic which is currently being used by Amiga for example. The Vario brand logo is nicely executed and I also like the use of large Arabic numerals which are in a vintage font which is again period correct for a 1918 trench watch. It really does capture the essence of a First World War watch with that vintage font and I like the contrast between the C3 Superluminova in the large Arabic numerals and the glossy finish to the enamel dial. Cathedral hands also complement the Arabic numerals and the uh, enamel dial and also I like the fact that the 60 second sub dial at 6 o'clock is slightly recessed through the enamel dial, it adds interest to it. So very well executed, nice uh, rail track chapter ring which goes around the circumference and everything about the watch really does capture the essence of a trench watch. The case finishing, the case polishing and also the crown position at 4 o'clock with a coin edge finish to it, also the wire lugs. It just really does give a very aesthetically pleasing good looking watch. Another favourite aspect I have of the watch is the use of a bund strap and I also like the fact that the suede genuine leather calf leather strap is secured by solid stainless steel screw rivets in either end of the bund strap. Now if the bund strap isn't your personal taste, Vero also offer a straight through strap as you can see, this one is green for example 
and it has a solid stainless steel brass satin finish buckle and tang with a signed Vario laser engraved buckle. So this style of straight through strap doesn't have any stitching, has Vario embossed on the underside, very good quality calf leather and it's very supple, nice and thin, it's not going to need any breaking in to be comfortable when worn for long periods of time. Now this is a long length of straight through strap so I would say to you, if you're a collector with a larger wrist like myself, 7 to 8 inches, I would advise you purchase the watch on the straight through leather strap. If you're a collector with a smaller wrist of 6 to 7 inches respectively, I would advise you purchase the piece on this very aesthetically pleasing bund strap um, because it's meant for shorter wrists, it really is going to be a very good fit. So again, the solid stainless steel buckle and tang is laser engraved with the Vario brand logo to a very good standard. Flawless stitching throughout, two keepers on the strap, one slides, one is fixed. And I really like the quality of the stitching on the underside of the strap as well as the top side. As you can see, the underside of the bun strap is embossed with Vario. Very nice finishing to it and Vario also specialise in producing very good quality watch straps. So you might also like to check out Vario.sg to check out their range of watch straps. So I'll give you a wrist shot and you can see how it looks on my 8 inch wrist. So as you can see... Just a fraction too short for my 8-inch wrist, but I'm not going to give criticism to Vario because they do provide the straight through strap, which I've shown you in green, and also several other colour options. Now on the bun strap, as you can see, it really is a very snug fit around the wrist. It's a 37mm case, which is a, a size which was popular in 1918, uh, but Due to the fact it's on the bun strap, it does wear with great wrist presence. Now, there's no heft, even though it's an automatic piece. It really does feel like a, a quartz piece, or alternatively a manual wind piece, rather than an automatic. And that's an advantage of having a smaller 37mm case with the wire lugs. It's a much lighter piece to wear on the wrist, and therefore more comfortable to wear for long periods of time. I think it's absolutely beautiful with those wire lugs and the bun strap, with those solid stainless steel screw rivets and uh, the enamel dial really is just very aesthetically pleasing. The AR coating on the underside of the sapphire crystal does do a good job in making uh, that glossy enamel dial less reflective and the cathedral hands are a nice silver finish and they do complement um, the glossy finish to the enamel dial. So clearly legible due to the large vintage font Arabic numerals, easy to read the time and also like the positioning of the 60 second subdial which is also clearly legible. So my advice to you would be um, purchase the watch on the leather bun strap. I really think that it's just um, very beautiful to look at. Now with regards to the case back, I understand that um, Vario are going to supply the case back um, plain with brass satin finished concentric brushing as you can see. And for example they've laser engraved this message. Time flies but memories last forever. They're going to offer it at an additional cost the option one can engrave um, a name, date of birth or personal message for example on the case back or alternatively one can have a logo engraved on the case back. So the solid stainless steel screw down case back provides an effective hermetic seal to 100 meters of water resistance as does the solid stainless steel screw down crown which is coin edge finish. Now understand in the final production versions they're going to enlarge the stainless steel screw down crown to make it more functional, to make it easier to grip, uh, to unscrew and screw in the crown. Now I've tested this one out and I can confirm that the execution in terms of the feel of screwing in and unscrewing the crown is very good. And I don't have any difficulty gripping it in its current size but I think that by increasing the scale and proportion of the screw down crown it will further enhance it. Nicely laser engraved with the V for Vario brand logo and I think that it's a very uh, aesthetically pleasing solid stainless steel crown. So let's do a loom test and we'll see how the C3 Superluminova uh, charges up when it's charged up to the absolute maximum using my 100 LED UV torch. Now I've got high expectations of C3 Superluminova, it's one of my personal favourite looms and although this is a low tier price point piece at 250 US dollars I think that uh, the quality of C3 should be very impressive. Right, so that's now fully charged and as you can see it has not disappointed. Nice large loom plots on those vintage font Arabic numerals um, allow for a large amount and several layers of C3 Superluminova to be applied. So the Arabic numerals are glowing very brightly and they're continuing to glow for a good length of time. 
Also, there's good plots of loom on the cathedral hands, and one can clearly differentiate between the cathedral hour hand and the syringe-shaped cathedral uh, minute hand, and absolute pleasure to look at. The C3 Superluminova is glowing very brightly, and it's continuing to glow, so I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it's very impressive that Vario haven't cut any corners with regards to the quality of the C3 Superluminova used. Now, if the green C3 Superluminova isn't your personal taste in white on the Arabic numerals, there are also several other dial colour options. For example, you can have a slate grey colour dial or alternatively a white enamel dial if the black enamel dial isn't your personal taste. And they also have orange patina tone uh, radium loom if the white C3 green glowing superluminova isn't your personal taste. So several strap colour options and also several dial colour options, black, white or grey. And you can even choose the loom. You can have orange or white as you're looking at here. Personally, this is my favourite version. I like the uh, calf leather strap. I like the fact that it is um, suede and it also has um, the black enamel dial version with a white loom. I think that that is the perfect complementing contrast. You have um, the grey strap, the black dial and the white Arabic numerals. I think that this is the best looking option and uh, I think it's an absolute pleasure. So lastly, I'll talk about the movement. The movement used is the Miyota, which is a Japanese-made movement, 8-2-S-5. So the 8-2-S-5 is a very reliable, well-proven workhorse movement. It has uh, 21 joules and it runs at 21,600 vibrations per hour and a frequency of 3 hertz. Benefits from having hand winding and hacking, which are modern day enhancements, and it has a stated accuracy of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. Now I'm pleased to report that this one is running at plus 10 seconds per day, which is perfectly acceptable. So I really like that aspect, the fact that this watch has modern day enhancements. The enamel dial has a modern day upgrade rather than having radium loom, which is now obsolete due to being highly radioactive. It uses C3 superluminova on the cathedral hands and the dial. I like the fact that it has a double dome sapphire crystal, which is more scratch resistant than mineral crystal or plexiglass, and it also has AR coating. Also nice to have a screw down crown with 100 meters of hermetic seal, which is better than a push pull crown. So I think it's clear that Vario have tried to produce the best quality watch they can and the best specification and still keep the watch viable at 250 US dollars. So lastly, I'll summarize the piece. What do I think of it overall? Well, when I'm considering reviewing a watch on my channel, the watch should meet two criteria. The watch should be both excellent quality and excellent value at the respective price point. So the respective price point of this watch is 250 US dollars and yes I consider it to be excellent quality and yes I also consider it to be excellent value. I think to get an enamel dial watch with C3 Superluminova and also uh, AR coating on the underside of a double dome sapphire crystal are all very good quality specification elements. I also think 250 uh, US dollars is a fair price, bearing in mind the specification, the build quality, the quality control, the case finishing, and overall the execution of the piece throughout is outstanding. So yes, I consider it to be excellent quality and excellent value. I highly recommend the Vario um, 1918 Trench Watch to you for your consideration. So I hope you've liked my review of the watch. Please feel free to post your own comments below the video. Thank you very much.